Gospel of Matthew, chapter 8, verse 2, we read, The leper asked Jesus, If you choose, you can make me clean. Dear brothers and sisters in Christ Jesus, Today, we reflect on the theme, the human health and the human dignity. Everyone who is born in this world wants to be wealthy, healthy, happy and peaceful. When sickness strikes us, we are worried. When weakness overrides us, we are down. And when spiritual sluggishness arises in our life, we ask, God, where are you? We all want to be respected in the society. But the catastrophe of human life is the societal life and our expectation is quite opposite to each other. And we have similar situation in today's gospel. Leper is there who is rejected by the society. Jesus is there who accepted him and wants to give him health and human dignity. When I speak about leper, during those times in Israel, leper was considered unclean. One who touched him also considered unclean and he was segregated from the society. And this bitter situation, Jesus understood. And Jesus, being a Jewish man, understands this situation of this man and tries to reach him, heal him and tries to give him human dignity and health. So, to understand this gospel in a better way, we can understand under three stages. The first one is, he receives anyone in need who comes in faith. William Buckley says, there was no serious suppression like leprosy. But here we see, this leper comes to Jesus. This leper comes to Jesus fervently. This leper comes to Jesus reverently. This leper comes to Jesus to acknowledge the power of Jesus. And later he asks Jesus, if it is your will, you can make me clean. And we see the faith aspect of this leper. Secondly, he is willing to meet the need. Jesus could have held him from far. But Jesus comes near to him. And we read in the Gospel of Mark, chapter 1, 40. Jesus touched him because he had compassion on him. So we see Jesus he gave him back his physical health and gave him human dignity. And thirdly, you see, he is powerful to meet their need completely. Jesus healed him, gave him good health back, gave him his human dignity. But at the same time, he followed the law of Moses and he told him, go back to the priest and do what he says to you. In the conclusion, we could say, book of Genesis chapter 1, verse 26, God has created each of, in each one of us in his own likeness and image. What is important is that we always look forward for a good health and look forward to restore human dignity. Let us take the example of Jesus in our life. Let us always See in other the image of God. Let us help others to restore their health and restore their human dignity. May the Lord bless us all.